Let's review some of the concepts that we've discussed in the Data Visualizer session. In the Data Visualizer, we create various charts based on the data that we've entered into DHIS2. We can select the various chart types by selecting the type above the data dimension selections. Selecting our data dimensions is very similar to the pivot table. We still go through the process of selecting our data, our periods, and our organization units. And as before, we can also add in additional data dimensions below these three core data dimensions. Just like the pivot table, we should also check on the chart layout before we update our chart. Here we have the terms category, series, and filter, which determines the layout of our chart. We use the generic terms of category and series because DHIS2 supports many different chart types. Specific terminologies such as X and Y axis may not apply to every chart type that is selected in DHIS2. We also have a variety of chart options. In the options, we can add and remove values, hide empty categories if there are any available. We can also add titles to our range and domain, as well as titles to the chart. We can also order the chart by using the sort order option. We can save chart favorites by going to favorites and then save as. Here we can enter the favorite name using the same naming convention that we've been using through the other demonstrations. This includes our username, our program, and then the what, where, and when. We can also add in a description for this chart that can be seen by other users in order to give it more context. Favorites can be opened by going to Favorites and then Open. We can search for our favorite and then click on it in order to open it in the Data Visualizer. Lastly, we can download these charts by going to either the Image or PDF options in the Data Visualizer tool. There are some differences between these two chart types. Images typically are easier to put into a presentation, or PDFs allow for a much more lossless image in terms of quality. This ends the Data Visualizer session. Please give the exercises a try and let us know if you have any questions about anything we've gone over in this demonstration.